Hello everybody, this is Sonia and I'm just checking my camera to make sure that I've got it switched on and I'm throwing everything around all over the place. Okay, so I've come on here now today because I wanted to show you some bits and pieces um, that I've been I've made over the time but I wanted to show you how to do a couple more things if um, this is mostly for newbies because I do have a lot of new subscribers and it's not that easy to find people on YouTube you know it's um <laughs> I've got a lot and lot a lot of videos up there and even I can't find some of mine that I want to um you know <laughs> look at again or whatever it takes for ages it just takes for a really long time to go through them because I think I've got uh close to a thousand now and um and, and on all different sorts of things so <clears throat> While I'm rattling on here, I'm going to find what I was going to do. I'm going to show you how to make a berry, okay? And this is not a hard thing to do at all, making a berry. I've been <coughs> this is how to make a berry with a bead, all right? Okay, so there's, there's your little bead. Now, these are called pony beads. They probably find them a lot in kids' stuff, but they're also for craft, you know, for... To do other sort of things with it like this this is called this is actually a stump work one and i do have a request from somebody from the ford to make a stump work b that's what i was going to do today but um as per usual time has beaten me and i want something that's not i might do a white one but i didn't really want to do a blue one or a clear one you can start out with whatever base you want to. Now the thing, the idea of this is because they've got a really big hole in them, see? Um, some people do it on the wooden ones. You can do use wooden ones too if you want to. If they've got a big hole in them, you can use a wooden one. All right, so you need some um, ribbon, of course, and I'll use silk ribbon because I just like to and it works pretty good because it's only fine and it just goes on well and, you know, what can I say? <laughs> it's a good thing to use. So I'm going to put some of this on it. And my berry and <clears throat> you could use seam binding is seam binding all the same size like is it you, you bind all the same that's a silly thing for me to say but is it all actually the same width if it was thinner you could use it okay so I put my needle through there and then I take my needle back through here right to hang on to it right and I've got a truckload of it here because I might do more than one bead. Right, I'm going to come up through the bottom and all I'm going to do is just cover it. Now I've done this before. I don't know whether it was in ribbon or um, uh, what's the name? Thread. See, you just keep your piece there. Make sure you're covering it all over. It doesn't matter if it gets a bit twisted. I, I used to be a bit concerned about that but you know what it gives a bit of texture to the outside of your berry sort of doesn't it you know because the berry could be a nice smooth one or not it doesn't matter what color they are i think out there in the world at some stage or other there's all different sorts of colored beads uh, berries on trees and things okay so all you're doing is you go and make sure when you're doing this you don't catch your ribbon while you're going through because otherwise the piece that went through there before will twist up on it and catch and just make sure you just cover it each one over and if you're worried about that just go through backwards all right just send it through there backwards and that will work just fine all right, okay now <clears throat> i'm going to just keep going around here until i've covered the whole of my bead which i've got a couple more bits to go when you're doing this with thread it takes a lot longer it looks really cool but i mean you can use embroidery thread or uh, some cotton would take you forever. I mean, you you probably want something that's a you know a few th a few thicknesses. Like a, if you use embroidery thread, you want probably two or three thicknesses. You do it with one, and that'll make it very very t um, you know really I don't know <laughs> nice. I suppose I guess, I guess anyways it'll be nice. But you just want a neat. If you want a really neat smooth berry, and it takes you. A little while it doesn't matter because when you're doing this sort of thing if you want to do a nice piece of work you want to take your time you don't want to do it carefully you know because if you're going to be doing um things and actually giving them away or selling them to somebody you don't want to be rushing them and doing them and, and making them all you know 
something that you wouldn't want to receive you don't want to be giving it to anybody else I'm sure everybody's work would be fine but you know what I mean if I did something if I did something that I didn't like I wouldn't be giving it away to anybody I'd be putting it in the garbage bin or unpulling it making it work I'm going to make it work I'm going to keep going on here until I finish filling that up which I think I have and I've got two bits two bits is not quite covered over so we're just going in the bead and out the other side through the bed and out the other side here because I've I've got managed to get it all wrinkly up a bit here too by the way <coughs> you probably have noticed that <coughs> you know what I'm not going to worry about it though I'm just going to keep going till I like it okay and because so you've got a good size hole in here this is going to work if you try to do that with something that hasn't got a hole in there you're going to be pulling on it and it's going to be making you feel uh, I don't want to do this or I can't do it you know and you don't want to feel like that do you no. Righto. I've always found that when I go to do something, can't do it the easy way. Got to do <laughs> Don't know why. I've <laughs> I've tried. I've tried to think now. I'll just do this and one, and then I think, oh, I could put that on there, or maybe I should make one of these. Or always got to be difficult. You can't just do the simple things, you know. But that's okay because. That's just the way I am, I, I suppose. I just want to be, um, I don't know, try to be creative. Now, you can pick up um, this as you go back through. You're going to take it back through and catch all the, well, some of that ribbon. So you've got hold of this, see? So you've got hold of him now, so he's in there. You, you've got the, you've got your your berry, right? There's the berry. And I'm going to cut that off there. <coughs> It, I hope I'm going to find a bead needle with some thread on it and I'm going to get myself a couple of tiny little beads that's already got a hole in it a knot in it I should say had them here somewhere a while ago actually these are not good little beads look at that honey colour maybe you want to put your, your up through the bottom come up through the bottom there get a bead I've got two, doesn't matter, I'm going to put three in anyway. I'll just put them both in there at the same time. That doesn't matter either, if you want to do that. I'll go down in there like so. You can have another one if, on if you like. Let's come back up there again and just put one more in, okay? One more bead. Come on, catch one. I've got one, okay. Here we go. Rightio, now that's your little berry now <clears throat> usually there's more than one berry in the, in the bunch you know so you can either do, you can do you know a few more if you can buy smaller ones and i do have some but you know they're avoiding me you can do smaller ones like because I, I think they look really beautiful they're little they do really look beautiful they look good any size so i've also got this size one you can get bigger ones too you see so it's up to you what you want to make um now to put that in onto a piece of um work is really easy <clears throat> i didn't bring the piece of work that i wanted to put it onto did i nah, that'd be too easy son oh hang on you got it here wait a minute don't be panic now this is what i was doing the other day remember and didn't get any further with it but i can put my my bead on my berry onto here i'll get a nice put a nice um thick, a nice needle with a good with a good thick piece here right and i'm going to get these bits i'm going to put these on i'm going to fold them get them together get them over here like this thread this through here like that come on you can do this Just, Let's go all, all together this way. Try and do it all together because that way you'll. I'm just going to cut this bit off the end. So we're waving around the end of the bridge. Right. <coughs> now, I'm going to put that through here. It's getting warm in Australia now. Oh, well, we've had so much cold and stuff. It's just got. Put it through that far. Okay. Carefully. Take that through the back. Hang on to your little berry because he's going to be a little bit but you're going to have to pull that out of there like you know without 
and look there you go you got your berry on your piece of work now I started doing this the other day because I was showing you these roses and I went on to another piece so I'll just put samples onto this one because I've make, I'm making another piece of work for somebody so um, on these ones here I think I've showed you how to do this um, the ribbon stitch to do a, a you've got to do something different with that colour so you need something darker let me see I'll do the green I'll do some green leaf things for you and show you how to do the leaves I don't think I'd, I might have done them there I think I did okay righto well, what can we do now then something something different I'll have to make that little bee um, I have done some work bees and I'll make one for you Rhonda if you just give me a few days I um, don't know I think when I got some sort of a virus I think it's still hanging on to me a bit because I, the doctors can't find anything the matter but I've still got weirdness but anyhow what can I say so we'll come up through here and we're going to um, make a, a leaf maybe I don't know. Let's just do one on the. Let's do it on the flower. That'll be better, won't it? If we do it on the flower. So we need to come up here. I want that pointy bit. We need to come up here. Come back up close to your flower. Right. Come through here, and I did get through. Go through that, and I shouldn't have done. Now you want to go down in the really close to it, and come up like so. And right, and get stuck. Get getting stuck on you. Are you pulling the wrong thing? I am too. Oh, let it go. What happened? Somebody help! <laughs> Look at that. It got stuck in here. Dear oh dear oh dear. Man, this piece of material. We're not having such a good time, are we? This piece of material. Come here. So everybody, don't panic, right? Nobody start to panic. It's okay. <laughs> It's all going to be fine when we figure out what we did wrong. Look at that. This is this is what you can do if you're not paying enough attention. I got that caught in there, right, in this bit of pink, and it wouldn't go anywhere else for me because I should have actually tacked that pink onto itself ages ago. But I just didn't get round to that because I'd been... Now, just please forgive me for all these mistakes, but I will promise you... <laughs> I'll try to be better. <laughs> I'll try to be better. Now, I'll go through the back of here with this needle. And I'm going to make sure I'm not going to catch on to that. Righto. Now, I've gone behind me, <coughs> me rose. Oh, well, underneath it, I mean to say. And then we'll go back here and make sure we don't catch it again. Right. I'm going to take it down first. I'll take it down in there first. And then I'm going to come up in here. I'm hoping that you can see what I'm doing because I can. I'm getting in my own. I'm getting in my own way here, and you want to pull that up there like so, and you're going to have a leaf thingy. Take it a little bit over the edge, and it gives it a, a sort of a, a, a shape to it, like a, a leaf edge shape thingy. Right out. That looks like a leaf. Right out. And then we'll do another one over here. Probably will end up making a design out of this. I don't know yet, because, but I won't be putting any... I might do stems over that way because I don't want too many leaves. I like to stick with about three. Make sure you don't catch anything, okay? Under the bottom, and I can't do that there still. How about here now? Oh, dear. Come on. Have I got anything caught? No. Right, I've got it. Uh, <laughs> sew that down so next time before you get back in okay right now back in under there pull it up carefully try to keep it so you want something that says this is probably about a four millimeter this one I've got I don't no it's not a four millimeter it might be seven I think this is a seven millimeter you can do it with a smaller um, one of course it's up to you 
and you can do it with a satin ribbon but only the very soft one this silk works better and this is um, not an expensive one I don't think that I'm using here I don't think that was a really dear one it was um, and it works pretty fine and that looks like he's got two ears and then if I put a body down there <laughs> sorry <laughs> I just fell I don't know <laughs> anyway um, so that's bit of ribbon embroidery and a berry now I've got so many things I get out there and I think oh I've got to show how to make this and I should put this up on there and you know what I should probably write a letter about what I'm going to do write a little note about what I want to make um, I, d I think I've done the um, <sighs> daisy shape sort of flower I think I've done that gee this is nice isn't it Here's me being sidetracked by something else. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Don't know what I'm going to do with that. Don't know what else I can show you today to sew. There's so many things, but I wanted to stick with a little bit more ribbon embroidery. Um, let me see now. I'll get, get a um, needle here. Now you want something that's really sharp and with a good size hole. So this will be a chenille one or could be a krill CW. C R E W E L is a, how to spell that. Could be that. So I'm going to have a go at this. I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a daisy. I'm going to make a daisy with this. Be a pretty daisy. Make a nice different colours, eh? And just put that through there, like so. Now you want to come up at the bottom, through the back. Don't worry about a knot, unless you really want to. I don't, I don't usually, but. Now you want to keep this as, as flat as you can, like so, right, and put it down. Now, you could have drew a circle, but I didn't draw a circle. It's up to you whether you want to draw a circle. Now there's your first petal, okay, and you're going to have a little bit of centre, so you want to leave a little bit of a part there for your, your centre part, okay. And then you're going to come across here, which I've run out of room on my hoop. Maybe I'll put it this way a bit. Try and keep them the same size. Go back down in there. Look at that, isn't that way too big? Never mind, the flower's having an off day and so is Sonia. <laughs> it's all be, it'll be fine. We'll make a half of one, eh? Because I reckon they look really cool. A half of oh, the flower on its side. I'll show you what I'm talking about when I get there. And that's a that's another thing, you know, when I'm doing something. If I don't if it's not going the right way, we can fix that, we can make it a different way, can't we? If I come up through don't go through the back of the you go through the back of it, it pulls it all out of shape. And everybody gets upset. Well I do. Turn it over like this. Hmm. It doesn't matter if it goes that way, does it? I'm just try and twist him round. There we go. I want to look as much like a flower as you can. There we go. Now this piece. Am I going to put two more petals in there or just one? Decisions, eh? We're going to have to do more than two. Now we've got a butterfly. <laughs> okay. So there's a butterfly, sort of. Pieces up the centre here. Feelers, butterfly. Okay. That's what I'm saying at any rate. We're going to go down there for there, that one. Come up here again. And make this piece down there. And then up here again. And bring this bit down here. Okay. Now I don't know what it looks like that brand with it with the different colours, but it does not matter because I think it looks pretty good. Okay, now I'll show you what to do once you've got that done. And you get a bead needle. <coughs> and you get some beads. Wait a minute, we're gonna put some more thread on this. Okay, I did have it here on the table, didn't I? Because I just used it a minute ago. I think I did. Yeah, I must have put in that box, eh, hey, that I was working with. Sonny, where did you put that? Can't be that far away. Where's the little pink box? 
sitting here next to me. Okay, just get me a piece of thread. I shan't be too long. I've actually pinched it off my sewing machine now. Right. Beads are good to have two two strands together. Sometimes it cobbles up a tiny bit. Some people run it through a piece of um, wax. I don't have any, so I can't do that. So in here, on this part, we're going to put some beads. Now it doesn't matter if you come through your... Um, are they going to look any good on there? You're not going to be able to see them, are you? I suppose you can. Not as nice as I'd like them to be able to be seen. No, I'm going to have to, have to see if I can find something different. Let me see what colour I would put there. No. Oh, where's this little thing? Here we go. Um, there's some beads in here. I have a bit of a bead soup thing going on. Now, let me see if I put pearly things. Pearly things are always a big... There's lots of pearls you find in, in this sort of stuff. I mean, so I don't know if I like that. I don't like that at all. Let's go with the gold centre. How about the gold? That looks alright. Now if you put these in here, like so. Just go through your bead again, because we want to hold it down. You know, we want it to sit down nicely. Okay. And then we can do some more. And if I got enough time, I can put a stem on it for you. Show you how to do the stem. If I put these through in here. This is, this is a flower. Um, catch that. That through. Okay. Just go a little way above the top of that, okay? That being the um, petal, because it'll give it a like a, a more of a sideways <laughs> sort of thing. Like so, that's hanging down um, a half a flower, looking at the flower from the side on. Um, and if you put in enough well you know you've got to put a few in so it looks like what you need it to be okay. might even go a little bit on the top of that you know because that'll that'll look cool going over the top of it a bit we're going to go over the, the inside little bits of the bees like this part isn't it oh I can't catch this <laughs> come on anyway so I hope everybody's enjoying my little um, tutorial on a little bit of um, ribbon embroidery these um, sort of things are something that people you know don't oh now I've got that caught in there isn't that terrible look what I've done to it oh goodness me look see I'm oh, bad don't do what I do please Anyway, we'll fix him up if I can tuck him around and because he's on the end that might have been the end one that I did and I never ended that off properly and I hope I'm not getting blood on anything here. Now I'm gonna um stop fussing there. I've got six little beads on there and I just want to put one more because oh dear, this thing's getting me today. This needle stabbed in me stabbed me hand. I think people need to learn to do a lot of this sort of stuff nowadays because it's really nice to have have um, things made by people instead of machines. <laughs> I think. I mean, you know, it's uh, both worlds. I guess if everything, there's got to be room for everything, though, doesn't there? So, but I really enjoy doing this sort of thing and giving it to people, sharing it with somebody. You know, I don't. 
over the years, I've just uh, got no idea how much work I've done um, given away. So um, that is how. Well, look, that's what I wanted to go that to go like. So that did all right. We're not too sure about this bit here though, because I've <coughs> nearly wrecked my piece of ribbon. I'm going to um, figure out a way to fix that. If I've got to bring it back down through there, <coughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'll show you. I'm going to take go through here. I'm going to find out where the last bit of that was, which is when I say the last bit. What was the last petal I put in that one there? Or this one? It was this white one, wasn't it? Okay, so go back to the white one and take it out. Look, pull that through, and that's it there. That's that last petal gone in the white one. But that doesn't matter to me because I'm going to go and fix this now because I don't want to have it wrecked. So I'm going to put that down there out of my way and I'm going to put two more petals back in this because there's well, one anyway. Oh no, I did two, didn't I? I don't remember. I think I did one more. I've got to put back in. So we're going to put that up there. We're going to hang on to it with our finger and we're going to go in and we're going to put this down in here and we're going to fix that. We are going to fix it, okay? But you've got to just be really careful of your ribbon at the back, all right? So when you're taking it through, now I'm I've got to cut this off, and I've got to deal with it. <laughs> In other words, just sew it all down. I get the I've got my bead needle here already threaded, and I'm going to go and I'm going to put these all down flat by just making some little straight stitches over the top of them without pulling them through to too far or too quick I'm making it okay um, I do have a knot it's okay nobody panic and all I need now is for the thing to go off without me saying goodbye and that'll be the <laughs> oh dear I'm so sorry if I've mucked this up I didn't mean to I've um, like I said I haven't been very well and I'm <laughs> there's me excuse it's not excuse it's, re it's really true and I have really missed coming on here and you know and doing these tutorials I really have. When I come on here, I seem to botch them up really bad lately. I don't know. I don't know why. And there you go. I think that looks pretty cool myself. I'm, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm a fan. Anyway, I might have just made mistakes going through it, but I think at the end, I've always worked it out. And I don't know. Maybe other people do too. <laughs> if other people actually make mistakes, they might not. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? I love it. And then I will just do a little trail of um, cot uh, cotton down there, or you could use ribbon. I'll just have a check and see how much time I've got to go on this one, and if I have enough, which I don't. So I'm going to have to say goodbye to you now, and thank you very, very much for everybody for watching it. Um, I really appreciate your feedback, and just tell me if it's okay that you did learn something today <laughs> on my stitches and craft thing, and I can't have it Sunday because I can can't seem to get around to doing it on Sunday just because I said I, d I think I don't know what the reason was but anyway hopefully I'll be on the mend really soon and feeling better like you know <laughs> and tidying up and everybody I hope everybody out there's feeling really well too I really do and I'm so excited that I did these videos I really am and I look forward to your comments and I love all yous for subscribing to me so thank you for watching bye bye